Well, thank you, Dave, and uh, thanks for the invitation to come here. It was uh, a great pleasure to uh, speak at this event, um, especially with a recent career change that I just made. Uh, first of all, I do have to preface it. Um, I am a shirt tail cousin. Uh, it's kind of hard not to get into the energy side of things in North Dakota if your last name's Bach. And uh, I have not met them, and I have not received a royalty check, but I do need to remedy that. So uh, that's one thing I do have to work on. A um, little background on myself. Uh, I've got 33 years plus in broadcasting. Um, did two talk shows in, in Bismarck, uh, one of which, the one I kind of clung to, um, it was kind of a passion. It turned into a passion and a driver was the energy side of things, the a show called Energy Matters. Um, through that, I, I kind of transformed and transitioned into my position with Larson Engineering. Uh, why it was a good fit was Larson Engineering is uh, a broad-based engineering firm. There, there's nothing they don't have their fingers in, whether it's curtain walling for the Dubai Towers or it's the grain handling facilities at the Port of Vancouver, Washington, energy, infrastructure, everything. Um, we need everything in North Dakota. That's why it made a, a really good fit, uh, and it made a lot of sense for me to transition from what I was doing to uh, the position I hold as business development director with Larson Engineering now. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the bigger picture and the scope, and that's one thing, um, nothing personal, but engineers tend to not always think outside the box. Um, you tend to be a little linear at times, which is wonderful. Um, that's why you're some of the smartest people I know. I'm not one of the smartest people you know, but I do think outside the box. And because of that, there's a real nice synergy that goes on in North Dakota, and that's why I'm a good fit with Larson Engineering. Um, some of these opportunities here, um, if you t run through the, the numbers, what we've had in North Dakota and the Bach and Shale play, unbelievable. At a time when the economy in this country is plummeting and we're booming and, and we can't keep up. Uh, we're the number one best run state in the nation, according to Wall Street. Um, the housing growth per capita, um, I recently had a friend uh, that moved from New York City to Williston, North Dakota. He's a reporter for Thomson Reuters. Uh, I introduced him to the region about three years ago, and it just got to the point where he was seeing too many stories and spending too much time in North Dakota to even bother going back to, to New York. So he moves to... Uh, Williston this summer uh, at the behest of his, his, uh, his paper. Guess what? He's paying more per square foot for housing in Williston, North Dakota than he was in New York City. And he lived downtown. You know, it's the number one expensive place per square foot in the country to live, Williston, North Dakota. Um, the growth for performing states since 2000, uh, we're number one. It's just, and I'm going to toot our horn a little bit, but um, and this is where the engineering side comes in, and we'll get to that in some later slides, but we need help, and that's where the engineering side plays into a lot of this. Uh, we're number two in oil production. Um, I don't know if we'll catch Texas. It might be a little pipe dream of mine, um, but uh, it'd be nice. But we're going to get close. We're going to get very close. Uh, we're number two best state for business.